75, 63, 29. <gasps> the perfect hiding place. 32, 98, 100. Ready or not, here I come. <sighs> When's he gonna learn how to hide so I can do some seeking? <sighs> oh, Tantor, wherever you are, I'm gonna find you. No, you're not. You can run, but you can't... <gasps> Hunters! Hey, you found me! Does that mean it's your turn to hide? We both better hide. He was soon borne away by the waves and lost in darkness and distance. <sighs> well done. I do enjoy good storytelling. Where is Frankenstein now? Oh, no, these aren't real people, Tarzan. They're just fictional characters. Fictional? Um, imaginary. They don't exist. Hmm. But why not write about real people? <laughs> well, unfortunately, not all people lead lives as interesting as yours. Hunters! In a jungle! A lot of them! <laughs> yeah, carrying big, scary weapons. Show me. Nobody told me it was going to be this humid. Or that there'd be mosquitoes the size of donkeys. Hey! What the? No hunting in my jungle. That's mine! What are you... No. <laughs> oh. Actors? Put your faith in what you most believe in Two worlds, one family Trust your heart they decide to guide these lives, to guide these lives we see. Hunters? Do you think we'd be carrying around these toys if we were hunters? We're actors, my scantily clad friend. Hmm? Actors? Thespians? Dramatis personae? Give it up, Dirk. The guy's obviously a half-wit. Out of our way? We're losing daylight? Relax, Stanley! Don't you realize who this is? This is the real ape man. Oh, Tom. That's just a legend. <laughs> Hmm, maybe not. What did you say your name was? Tarzan. Tarzan, I'm Tom Orman, director of a movie called Savage Man. It's based on the legends of a man raised by gorillas in the wild African jungle, like, uh... Like me? Uh, no, more like me. <laughs> I know I don't look like much of a savage, but I'm the star of the picture, Stanley Obrowski. You might have seen my last movie, Rhinestone Rhapsody. No, nobody saw Rhinestone Rhapsody. What's a movie? You've never seen a movie? <laughs> my stars, you are uncivilized. Not to worry, my boy, you're in for a real treat. Thanks for letting us turn your call into a screening room, Mr. Dumont. Oh, please, call me Reynard. I and my trading post are at your complete disposal. Great. Say, is this the <gasps> right movie, Mr. Orman? For goodness sake, man, put that lamp away. One spark and the film will go up like a powder cake. Uh, here, maybe you ought to carry it. Uh, no, thanks, Junior. I'm trying to cut down. Just take it back to the projectionist. Oh, thank you so much for the invitation, Mr. Orman. I haven't seen a film since we left England. Oh, well, you are gonna love this one. This is my last picture, The Great Train Caper. Lights, Henry!
Watch out! The Tarzan, wait! Bam! Incredible! Ah, uh, Tarzan, love? Um, it's not a real train. You see? It's like, um, it's like Daddy's slide projector, only these pictures move. Oh. I'm sorry I interrupted. Balderdash! The director wants the audience to think his movie's real. In fact, why don't you come to the set tomorrow and see a real movie being filmed? Plus, tomorrow is the first scene with Naomi Madison, our leading lady. Can I bring Jean? <laughs> oh, my. You really were raised by apes. Now, Naomi! This is the scene where the evil poacher, Count Camacho, has tied you up and you are saved by a savage jungle man! Yeah, 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 savage jungle man, I got it. Keep it on my good side, will ya? Thank heavens, movies have no sound. And action! Help! Won't someone help me? Kill the boulders! Saving her. Help! Somebody help me! Oh. Incredible! What are you doing? I'm saving you. Oh! Oh, my! Are you okay? I am now. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? I was supposed to save Naomi. You ruined the take. But she would have been crushed by the rocks. They're not real, you imbecile. Not real? Not real as in fake? Pretend? Remember the events of the movie are all fictional. So she wasn't in any danger? No, she wasn't in danger. Do us all a favor and leave the acting to the professionals. Stanley! What are you doing? What am I doing? What's Jungle Jack over there doing? He ruined the take. Time is money, Tom. I know, I know, but don't you worry about that. You just go and get ready for the next scene. Right. I can't let a little distraction get me out of character. Exactly! Go on now. Do your breathing exercises. Vocalize. Find your motivation. Be the savage man! Oh, that's it. Tell me you got that. Would you look at that? Absolutely, totally, completely amazing! Huh. Only two-bit stuntmen can dodge fake rocks. You should get better rocks. When's my scene coming up? Here it is! Hmm. There, see? I can dodge fake rocks with the best of them. The rocks bounced right off of you. So, fix it in the editing. Not a bad idea. I could use that footage of Tarzan dodging the rocks and splice it together with your close-ups. What? You can't do that. I'm a star, a cinematic action hero. This guy isn't even an actor. No, Stanley, this guy's a real jungle man. Huh. But could he play Hamlet? To be or not to be? Hamlet won't get keisters in the seats. I'm putting him in my movie. You can't let that loincloth Louie do my stunts. I've always done my own stunts. Stanley, Stanley, this is in your own best interests. What would your fans do if you got hurt? They would... Why, they would be lost without me. Of course they would. We can't deprive the public of their star. I just won't do it to them. Tom, you're right. You are absolutely right. Now you're talking. You go practice your lines, superstar. Will do, Tom. Will do. Uh, actors. We ready to roll? We're all set, Chief. Good, let's make some magic! And action! Cue <laughs> uh, 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 Stanley!
่ไหร่มี Savage Man You Savage Man Me John and Cut How was that eh One take of Browski That's what they call me I remember That was the most incredible thing I've ever seen You're going to be a big star Huge How'd you do that yell Uh, excuse me. I believe I'm the star of this picture. Am I not? Hello. Hey, hey! Could you teach me how to do that yell? Here, Tarzan, sit down. Pardon me, Renard, but I wanted to talk to you about my bill. Is there some sort of problem? Yes, there's a problem. These catering costs are outrageous. I could buy a car for what you're charging me for soup. Well, I'm afraid that is the cost of doing business in the jungle. But if you'd like to dine elsewhere, stinking price gouging. <laughs> uh, Tarzan, do you mind? Mind what? No offense, but your table manners. Well, they leave something to be desired. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't you listen to him, Tarzan? Instead of criticizing you, he should be studying you. What? Sure, I want you to follow Tarzan around, learn how to walk, talk, and act like a real jungle man. I would be glad to teach you how to act, Stanley. I'll bet. Really, Tarzan, what's there to know about being raised in the jungle besides wearing bad clothes? Well, for starters, gorillas don't just walk on two legs; they use their hands too. Ooh, don't they get dirt under their nails? Try it. Why, there's nothing to it. I dare say I'm even better at this than you. Ow! Ow, my back! Are you all right? Yes, perfectly. <sighs> Let's move on to the next thing. As fun as it is watching you poke bugs with a stick, when are we going to do something that will help me with my movie? A gorilla doesn't eat with a fork or a spoon. Yes, I noticed at lunch. A gorilla uses a reed. You're not going to. Oh. <laughs> Mmm, your turn. Want me to catch Nuru so you can wrestle him? Oh no, that's all right. I, I need to get back so I can prepare for tomorrow's scene. You know, uh, the scene at the lagoon. Yes, you're going to be there. Yes, I'm doing the stunts. Remember? Of course. How could I forget? <laughs> Delightful. Now Tarzan, this is the scene where you're supposed to swing out of the trees, do a triple somersault, and land square on the elephant's back. Okay. I like your attitude, son. And action! Be gentle with me. <laughs> What's that lunatic doing now? <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Get yourself killed! Here, take my hand. I don't need your help. I can do my own stunts. We have been through this, Stanley. We can't let you get hurt. Let me worry about that. But if Stanley wants to do his own stunts, well, don't be ridiculous, Tarzan, my boy. You are cinematic gold. Stanley, you get these delusions of grandeur out of your thick head and go practice your grunting. No. What did you say? I said no. Either I get to do my own stunts, or I don't do the picture. All right, all right, have it your way. <laughs> oh. You're fired! You can't do that. You still have to finish the movie. I am well aware of that, Stanley. Tarzan will be the new star of the picture. Well, fine then. Go ahead and ruin your movie with that glorified monkey. See if I care. Say, Tarzan, do you know anything about acting? No. Good. But what do I do? Well, you're playing a jungle man, 
and you are a jungle man, so just act natural. I don't understand. Uh, is this fiction or not? Oh, of course it's fiction, except you're gonna play yourself. Joan, hungry, savage man, bring food. But I don't talk this way. Sure you do! I can't wait to do the kissing scene. <laughs> huh? Kissing scene? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. You see, in this movie, you're in love with Naomi. Mm hmm But I'm in love with Jane. It's all right, Tarzan. It isn't real. It's just for the movie. <laughs> of course, if it weren't for the movie and you kissed her, well, I'd have to feed you both to the leopards. This is very confusing. And downright disturbing. That was amazing, Tarzan. How do you do that yell, Tarzan? You're gonna be a big star, Tarzan. Get lost, Tarzan. Bye-bye, savage man. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. You've just met the woman of your dreams. And action! I never thought I could love a savage man. Fire. Yes, flames of passion. I feel it too. No, fire. Hey! Hey! You can't just leave me stuck up here in this tree. But th th this isn't in the script, but keep rolling. Don't just sit there, go after him. Imagine the footage. He's building fast! Hurry! What happened? Quickly, help me collect water! Fire! Fire! Help us! Mon Dieu, this building is full of explosives. Ah, no. We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! We're dead. Ah! Oh, boy! Whoa! Ah! Oh, we owe you one, buddy. Yeah, just add it to our tab, would you? Do you hear that? No. from taking my place and becoming a big star. Is being a star so important? All I have is fame. Without that, I have nothing. So leave me here. I don't want to live in anonymity. <laughs> Come on, Stanley. Look, uh, uh, help me. Wrong. Are you all right? We thought you guys were goners for sure. <gasps> what happened? Oh, S Stanley <coughs> saved me. What? <coughs> Stanley, big hero, saved Tarzan. Hmm. Maybe you're a better stuntman than I thought, Stanley. I didn't know you had it in you. You are a hero. Hey, it's gonna be in all the papers back home. Oh, oh, oh no. T'was nothing, really, for me. Please, stand back and give Tarzan some air. Ah, uh -uh, Monsieur Aumont, leaving so soon? Ah, yes, since all of my film burned up in your trading post, I need to go home and sweet-talk the studio heads. Ah, yes. As a matter of fact, we have determined that the fire was caused by your film. Will you be paying for the damage by check? Oh, now, hold on a second there, Frenchie. Your death trap is what caused this fire. Haven't you people ever heard of fire codes? Ah, <laughs> let us refrain from insults, please. <laughs> Think they'll work it out? Eventually. Not a cent! You will not get one penny out of me! 
Have it your way, Lars Snake. Um, uh, oh. uh, how do you spell Renard? Listen, Tarzan, thank you for what you did. You really are a great actor. You should come to Hollywood. We could use more people like you. Uh, no thanks. I like my real life here. Well, there goes your big chance to be a movie star. You could have had a legion of adoring fans, not to mention gorgeous leading ladies. I already have a gorgeous leading lady, and she's not fictional. Ah, oh, so now you understand about fiction, hmm? Maybe a little. Hmm, I'd say more than a little. Stanley, big hero, save Tarzan, hmm? Likely story. I don't know what you mean. You must think your wife to be very dim indeed. <laughs> Come on, Jane hungry, Tarzan bring food. 